What's going on YouTube? Yankee Cowboy here. Those of you guys just hitting this channel for the title, I encourage you guys to stick around and subscribe to the channel. Those of you guys who normally know me and know my channel know that this is something new and a little bit different. So this is going to be a, a little different thing for you guys to see, but trust me, it's worth it. This thing's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. You guys know me. I don't normally do vape videos on my channel because it's just, it's not the thing. You know, it's more of a guns and gear channel. I don't mind doing other stuff, but the vape stuff, I, I go through so much, I just leave it out. I don't want to be a full-blown vape channel. But with that being said, I've been in vaping for about six years. You know, I've been in from the beginning of the curve to what it is now, and it's been a pretty wild ride. But when I seen this particular item come on on the market, I seen it on Instagram, I was pretty blown away because it kind of fits in with my whole guns and gear genre. You know, it's pretty tactical looking. It's pretty cool looking, and uh, it's functional. That's the main thing. You know, like I said, I've been around vaping for six years, so I know what's good and what's not good and what I particularly like in vaping. And... By the looks of this mod, I was blown away. I was hoping it performed half as good as it looked. It, it, it performs every bit of how good it looks. So with that being said, we're going to jump down. We're going to take a look at it. Then we're going to come back up top and we're going to vape on it. So let's jump down and take a look. All right, guys. So we're down on the bench with the Limitless Arms Race. I always like to show you guys how things come packaged. So this is the box. I got mine in the digital camo. So you can see they did the digital camo accent on it. So let's pop it open and get into this thing. Open it up. You got this uh, QR code and little card here. Nothing on the back, so take that out of the way. And there it is. There's the star of the show, guys. There's the mod. There's really not much going on in the box, so let's pop the mod out. Let's get the uh, let's get the box out of our way. Put this off to the side, and then we'll take a look at the mod. All right, so here it is, guys. This is the Limitless Arms Race. I've been waiting for this, guys. I've been seeing this on Instagram. They've been posting and posting this every day. I've been dying to get one. And I finally got one in my hands, and I'll tell you what, guys, I love it. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous in every way, shape, and form. And like I said, guys, I've been vaping for a while, six years now, and I've been through a lot of different vapes, you know, one-offs, collector pieces, you name it. But when I seen this thing, I was pretty excited about it, and uh, for good reason. This thing is just awesome. I did get a chance to use it for a while now, and uh, let's get a better focus there. Here we go. I did get a chance to use this thing for a while, and I'll tell you what. This thing performs, but I put it back in the box just to show you guys what it looks like out of the package because there's really no videos on it except for Limitless themselves, but they really don't go over it too well. But let's just go over a few things first. The texture on this thing, the finish. Uh, some of you guys who watch my channel that are gun guys would know that what a Duracoat finish is. Uh, Browning does it on their shotguns. It's like a rubbery texture, and this thing has a rubbery texture to a rubbery finish. And I'll tell you what, they did, a, they did a fantastic job on the finish. It just feels really nice in the hand. It's very grippy. doesn't want to fall out of your hand like some mods do. So kudos to the finish on it. I love the accent with their Limitless Mod Company logo here. And uh, I love also how they have the uh, Limitless Mod, this Limitless Mod Company right here. That looks pretty awesome too. Now if you push the button on the side, this window is just a plain, plain window. You push the button, here's here's where all your all your features and controls will be listed. I'm not going to go through the, uh, let me let this focus for a minute here, guys. I'm not going to go through the uh, the menu on this because it's, it's a pretty pretty basic menu. The only thing I don't like about this is it shuts off automatically after a certain period of time. But I tend to vape so much, so it really never shuts off on me. And uh, the top of this has a 510 connector. It's spring-loaded. As a 1913 Picatinny rail, so you guys who follow my channel are into guns will know what that's about. That's just more for the tactical look. They did the same rail type on the fire button, and then your up and down buttons are, are pretty basic. And then on the bottom you have a little selector slide switch here that you, you push this off to the side, and this releases like a magazine on a pistol, and then you get your two batteries going on the bottom. And you put them in, you hear that click, so that thing's home now. So again, you push the button here, and then your screen will come back on. It'll say welcome, click five times, one, two, three, four, five, power on, and then it'll it'll remember my last setting. I'm running at 45.5 watts. All right, so this thing is pretty good, guys. I mean, I've had a lot of mods, a lot of box mods, and a lot of them don't perform. you got to ramp them up to real high wattage to get some power out of them. This thing works great. I had no trouble with this thing being underpowered. The chipset in here, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but they used a pretty good chipset, and I think it's one of their one of their own they had designed, and it, it works fine. So those of you guys that are worried about it, I won't worry about this one, guys. This one performs. It'll do uh, heat, temperature. It'll do watts, temperature. 
it measures in joules. It does all that stuff, guys. But I just run it in uh, I run it in normal wattage mode. I'm not into the temperature control thing, so I don't run it that way. What they did up top here is they put these holes up here for uh, add ease with uh, airflow from the bottom, which was pretty cool. Add some style to it and some functionality. I don't really run those style addies, but it's there. So if you guys got a, an addy that draws from the bottom, it's going to work. The only thing I don't like, let's go over some things I don't like. I don't like the gold chevron. That's just, you know, aesthetics. I wish they did it in a silver or a matte finish. I think that would look pretty badass in silver. But, I mean, the gold's not bad. It's not It's not terrible. Some of the finish on the bottom of this Duracoat, when I took it out of the box, there's some small chips in it, and you can see some wrinkling from when it was applied. But, it, you know, it's it's nothing that I was willing to return it or, or call limitless about. So you can see that shiny spot there is a chip there. And there's some, some wrinkles going on over here and on the other side. But it, it's my new. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty sure that Limitless is going to sell other other bottoms. There's a Skull Chief one. And then there's a blue digital camo one. So, again, I'm sure Limitless is going to come out with, with different interchangeable bottoms like they do on their other box mods. All right. Anything else negative I could think of about it? Like I said, the only other thing is I don't like the automatic shutoff. Not a big fan of that. I wish you could just, you know, either override that or they shouldn't have put that in there. But, I mean, other than that, as far as the chipset goes, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to screw an Addy on here, guys. What I'm running is is a Limitless Addy. And uh, this is their RDTA. All right, so we get the Addy screwed on here so you guys can get a look at what it looks like with the Limitless Addy on there. This is one of their original RDTA Addies. I think that thing sits nice on there. I got it murdered out with, all, with the all-black O-rings. So I'll let this thing focus in here for a minute. There you go. I think that looks pretty pretty darn nice on there. Another quick thing here, guys, on the bottom. Like I said, you got the that latch there to take it off. Right next to that, which I didn't talk about, is the uh, is the mini USB to charge it. That being on the bottom, you know, not a deal breaker, but I don't typically use those anyway because I just don't think it's a good idea to ever charge your batteries in the mod. I, I use an external charger, so I would never recommend using the mod. It's just not a good way to do it. It's not balanced. I mean, it takes forever to charge, so I'm just typically using this thing, you know, as is with the two batteries, and I'll charge them in, in my in my charger. But it's nice that you got the double read out here for both batteries, so you can monitor your batteries. You got your wattage there, and you got your uh, when you fire it, it tells you what you're putting out for your voltage and your ohms on your coil. So a pretty basic uh, menu. That's all I need. That's all the information I need. I don't need uh, to have a screensaver or pictures and all that garbage. I think it looks great the way it is. I think Limitless did a fantastic job on this mod, and I'm I'm really enjoying it. Probably gonna order another one in a different color, maybe the the skull chief or the other blue camo one hopefully they come out with some other cool bottom covers for this thing too because this is an awesome mod and it's got a lot of possibilities but we're going to head back up top now that we got the addy on here we're going to take a rip on this and do some final thoughts all right guys so that was a look at the arms race from limitless mod company the digital camo version so let's take a rip on this thing I'm only running at 45.5 watts, but for me, I like a cooler vape. But she chucks the clouds out with the limitless Addy on top of here. And I'll tell you what, at the 45 watts, I got a 0 .40 ohm coil in here. I I'm, I'm happy with it because I tend to chain vape, so I run it a little lower. So once I chain vape on it a little bit, it gets warmer. Like I said, it chucks the clouds out. It performs well. If I had the same Addy on a different mod, because I got a bunch of mods, like I said, uh, it wouldn't perform half as good. So I know that the chipset in here is pretty good for what it is, because at 45 watts, it, it's doing everything I need it to. Some other ones I, I put it on, you run it up to 60, and it's not performing. So kudos to Limitless on this. They did a nice job on the chipset. It's very simple, very easy, which which I like. You know, I'm not into the jewels and temperature control and nickel wire. I use regular camp all wire, simple builds, and it just works, and that's what I wanted. So let's take another rip on this thing. See, once you warm it up, I mean, she chucks out the vapor. Rather than ramp up the temperature, then if you go to chain vape, it's going to be too hot. You're going to take a chance of burning your cotton. So I tend to run it this way, and it, and it works out well for me. And she's a pretty looking mod, guys. I mean, you guys saw it up close. This thing is just awesome. I've only had it since Saturday, and I've already got compliments at guys at work, and they're like, oh, wow, where'd you get that? It's just a great looking mod. Feels great in the hand. I love the coating on it. 
you know, there's a lot of things I like about it. We went over a couple of things I don't like on it, but you know what? They're 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 minor compared to the to the good things about this mod. Good good bit of clouds out of it. Not so much flavor out of this particular limitless Addy, but you know what? I'm ordering another one that has a more dome top, so I'm hoping that one has more flavor because I'm in it more for the flavor than the clouds. But Again, I think this thing performs. I think Limitless did a nice job on this thing and hit it out of the park. You know, their Addies are, are top-notch. Their build on this was top-notch, so I'm happy, guys. So with this one, I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like, share, and subscribe button, guys. And we'll see you guys on the next one.